Good morning, students. In this video, today I'll discuss about uh, chemical reactions of aldehyde and ketones. So, first reaction of aldehyde and ketone shown here uh, nucleophilic addition reaction. In this reaction, what is the scheme of the reaction? You can see I have shown nucleo nucleophile will uh, NU minus will join with the carbonyl carbon and C double bond O group will be converted into C single bond O. Okay, and in next step, O as uh, O minus will join with with an electrophile, and it will be O E. Okay, so this is the general scheme of the nucleophilic addition reaction. In any nucleophilic addition reaction, always aldehydes are more reactive than ketones, and with increasing in the uh, size of R group of ketone, with increasing in the size of R group of ketone the reactivity of ketone decreases this is due to increasing plus i effect of aldehyde uh, alkyl group with increasing plus i effect of alkyl group reactivity rate of aldehyde uh, reactivity of rate of ketones decreases remember that in nucleophilic addition reaction so many type of nucleophilic addition reaction uh, given here you can see so reaction between aldehyde and ketone that is carbonyl carbon c double bond o with hcn hcn in hcn h plus cn minus so cn minus is the nucleophile cn minus will join with the carbonyl carbon and double bond will o will uh, double bond will break and o will be o minus and o minus will join with the h plus so it will be cyanohydrin and the structure will be like this c double bond O will be converted into COH and CCN okay <coughs> this is nucleophilic addition reaction of aldehyde and ketone similarly uh, addition of NaHSO3 to aldehyde and ketone C double bond O C double bond O is present in both aldehyde and ketone so addition of sodium hydrogen sulfide same type of chemical reaction okay the C double bond O will uh, and sodium hydrogen sulfide the double bond o will be converted into oh okay oh and so3 na will join with the carbonyl compound as a nucleophile so3 na this is o so2 na okay so this is also nucleophilic addition reaction aldehyde and ketone forms white crystalline solid when treated with sodium hydrogen sulfide this is an identification test of aldehyde and ketone okay aldehyde and ketone forms a solid white crystalline solid when it is treated with sodium hydrogen sulfide due to formation of such type of nucleophilic addition product uh, double bond will be converted into OH and uh, the SO3 NA group will be will join with the carbonyl compound nucleophilic addition <coughs> Reaction of ketone with al aldehyde with alcohol ROH the double bond o will be converted into OR and OH in uh, this is known as hemiacetal and hemiacetal again will react with alcohol in presence of HCl gas alcohol in presence of HCl gas to give acetal that is C double bond O finally will be converted into C double bond O will be converted into COR and COR two alcohol molecule will join with the carbonyl carbon in first step one alcohol molecule will join to give hemiacetal a structure of hemiacetal look like this one group will be OR another will be OH in second step both will be OR okay this is hemiacetal and ketones form uh, hemi, um, ketals with dihydric alcohol okay to, uh, this type of cyclic ketone will form a uh, cyclic uh, ketal will form when ketone react with dihydric alcohol that is two OH group will uh, will be there in dihydric alcohol in presence of HCl gas okay so now reaction with ammonia addition product reaction uh, addition of ammonia and its derivative to aldehyde and ketone addition reaction simple now you have to remove water molecule from aldehyde and ketone when ammonia or its derivatives are added to aldehyde and ketone one important reaction of aldehyde is given a reaction of aldehyde 
formaldehyde with ammonia 6 HCHO this is formaldehyde when reacts with ammonia 4 NH3 it forms hexamethyl tetraamine it is also known as eurotopin CH2 whole 6 N4 the formula of hexamethyl tetraamine important compound eurotropin okay CH3 uh, CH2 whole 6 N4 plus 6 H2 so reaction between formaldehyde and ammonia in this reaction produces eurotopin which is used uh, which is eurotopin on control nitration gives explosive substance such as RDX huh. so from eurotopin you can prepare uh, explosive substance RDX reaction between acetaldehyde and ammonia you can see just you have to remove water molecule from uh, ox uh, water molecule from aldehyde and ammonia okay oxygen of aldehyde will join with two hydrogen of amine okay add uh, this type of acetal diamine uh, will form okay addition reaction you have to remove oxygen of one oxygen of aldehyde and two hydrogen of amine and the group will be ch3 c h double bond n nh okay this type of product will form ketones will react similarly huh? or oxygen of ketone will remove from uh, an oxygen one oxygen of ketone will join with two hydrogen of amine okay and this type of c base will form a uh, double bond will form c r c a uh, r c double uh, r c single bond c is three double bond n h So these are addition reaction of aldehyde uh, and ketone with amine. Yeah. General scheme of the reaction is given. You can see remove oxygen from aldehyde or ketone and hydrogen from amine or amine derivative and join together uh, in such a way. Okay. And different group uh, the formula of different RNH2 group uh, is given here. R ZNH2. Uh, the formula of Z is given here. You can see and the product also given and next reaction of aldehyde and ketone cleavance and re uh, reduction important reaction aldehyde or ketone when treated with zinc Hg and HCl zinc Hg in HCl the C double bond O will be converted into CH2 C double bond O will be converted into CH2 this is known as cleavance and reduction huh. Ulf Krishna reduction same product you will get in Ulf Krishna reduction also the C double bond O group will be converted into CH2 but in Ulf Krishna reduction the reagents are different uh, hyd hydrogen NH2 NH2 KOH and ethylene glycol hydrogen KOH and ethylene glycol and heat is used in Ulf Krishna reduction in Ulf Krishna reduction C double bond o will be converted into CH2 like in Clemens and reduction but Clemens and in Clemens and reduction the reagents are zinc Hg and HCl okay zinc Hg and HCl okay and oxidation of uh, aldehyde and ketone aldehyde will oxidize to al both aldehyde and ketone will oxidize to give acid okay Tolens failing reagent haloform reaction important reaction of uh, aldehyde and ketone containing ketomethyl group at least one CH, uh, COCH3 group must be present in halo uh, in aldehyde or ketone okay those aldehyde and ketone which contain CH3 CO group this is ketomethyl group they respond in haloform reaction in haloform reaction when aldehyde and ketones are treated with NaOH in presence of a halogen like I2, the aldehyde and ketone will be converted into corresponding sodium salt of carboxylic acid and a haloform CHX3 like CHCl3, CHI3. This type of haloform will form. Okay, the CH3 group will remove as a CHX3 haloform CHCl3, CHI3 like this. Okay, so this haloform test is used to identify. Uh, aldehyde and uh, ketones containing ketomethyl group okay next day i'll discuss about aldol condensation reaction thank you students